Bridge to Ansaka River Number no. 7 which was built by 1913 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It worked on a two-foot gauge railway until 1941 when it was sold to LSD Atworth for its Edeville Railroad. Edeville was a two-foot gauge line to haul the cranberry bogs around his property. But when it comes to tourism, the railway become a tourist hotspot and passenger excursions has started a couple years later. Number 7 and its sister locomotive, number 8, would operate on the Edeville for passenger excursions for many years until the early 1990s. When the railway was closed in 1992, number 7 left the property and it went into storage for a couple of years. An attempt of a revival of Edeville was happened in 1997 for Fred Richardson's birthday, and number 7 was steam up to that occasion and operate on the Edeville line. And then after that revival, it operated on the main Narrow Gauge Railroad Museum until 2003. After 15 years of restoration and overhaul work, the locomotive returned to service in 2018. It is now currently in storage at the Ricasa Waterfield Farmington Railroad for a, a big two-footer gauge event happened last year in 2020. This is one of these locomotives where it reminds me of 4501, in fact, Southern 4501, being an excursion loco in the early days and coming back to haul more excursion in the modern 21st century. This is a really nice locomotive, locomotive. I really love the design of it, and number 8 as well. It's, it's glad to see number 7 operating on such, on such by great group of people at the museum and I gave and I give thumbs up for the museum for their hard work. So yeah, that's number seven and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh and also go visit the main narrow gauge railroad museum. It's a really nice place.